In this question, we have to show that the elastic energy stored in a spring is 670 newtons. At point C, the ice block has a speed of 0.9 meters per second, and it's at a height of 1.2 meters. This means that the elastic energy that was stored in a spring has been converted into kinetic and gravitational potential energy. Based on this, we can write that E EL, so elastic energy, is equal to EK, so kinetic energy, plus EGP, gravitational potential energy. Next, we will use these two equations from subtopic 2.3 to express the kinetic and the gravitational potential energy. Here EK is kinetic energy, M is mass, V is speed, EP is gravitational potential energy, G is the acceleration of free fall, and H is height. So using these two equations, we get 1 half mv squared plus mgh. Notice that instead of delta H, I'm simply using H. Substituting, we get EEL is equal to 1 half times 55 times 0 0.9 squared plus 55 times g, which can be found in the fundamental constant section of the data booklet, and which is equal to 9.81, multiplied by 1.2. Carrying out this calculation gives us approximately 669.7 joules, which is about 670 joules, and this is what we wanted to show. Please note that since this is a show that question, you should round the answer that you get from your calculations to at least one more significant figure than the show that answer given in the question. Since 670 is rounded to two significant figures, here I should round to at least three significant figures. Since in this question the three significant figure answer looks the same as the two significant figure answer, I decided to round to four significant figures.